everyone. It's Dom again. In this video, we're going to be talking about writing resumes. Resumes are a really important uh, document that will allow you to introduce yourself to a new potential employer. Remember when you're writing a resume that a potential employer is going to look at a handful, maybe 10, maybe 20, maybe even more of these resumes. So you've got to make sure that you're brief, concise and to the point when you're writing this information. In this video, we're going to be talking about the various subheadings that you include in a resume um, and how to form format it well. The six subheadings that you'll have in your resume are as follows. Personal details, work skills, employment experience, learning and training, availability, and referees. I'm going to go through each of these subheadings and give you a full explanation as to what they each mean. In the personal details section, it's important that you include all your personal details. This includes your full name, your current address, an email address, and also your current telephone number. Something really important about the email address. I know some of you out there have a tendency to create some, well, some interesting email addresses. So make sure that you apply, you put your professional looking email address. I know you all would have created an email address for this online learning environment. So why don't you use that email address for your employer to contact you on? Work skills. This section is really important to give your em potential employer a brief rundown of exactly what you offer as a potential employee. You should include the range of skills that you would be able to bring into a new workplace. These skills could include your interpersonal skills, skills uh, around how you relate to other people and how well you communicate with people. You could include skills around self-management, so that's things like your use of initiative and time management skills. You could be looking at uh, technology skills, so that's use of computers and other related equipment. Uh, or you could be talking about job-specific skills, so it could be skills that you've developed for hospitality or in childcare or as a mechanic whichever it is that you're applying for. Employment experience. In this subheading, you will detail to your potential employer um, all the different work experience that you might have had. Now, if you haven't had any work experience, that's okay, you don't have to worry about it. Just don't include that section in your uh, resume. But if you had, have had some employment experience, then you need to detail this information. In this section, you would include your, the company name that you worked for, the dates when you worked there, the uh, position title of, that you were working, and also all the skills that you developed while working in that position. Learning and training. The learning and training section is a little bit similar to the work experience section. In this section, you'll detail the different um, organisations where you learned, the different qualifications that you completed, the dates that you completed those qualifications, and the different skills that you developed while completing those qualifications. In the availability section, you need to detail the days and the times when you can work for your new employer. So if you, um, for example, play netball on a Saturday morning, you wouldn't make yourself available at that time. Referees. In this section, um, it's really a really important piece of information about this section is that you shouldn't include the details of your uh, referees. If you include this information, that means that your potential employer can call your referees without your knowledge. So what you should do is write the line, referees available upon request. With that information there, the employer knows that they need to call you before they call any referees. It's also important that you contact any potential referees and ask permission that they are your referee. Then that way they won't get a surprise if an employer calls them. So in this video we've spoken about the six important subheadings in a resume. Those subheadings included personal details, work skills, employment experience, learning and training, availability, and referees. Now, your task is to go away with this information and start building your resume. 
Use Google Docs to create your resume, and once you've completed it, make sure you share it with your teacher.